My weird school. Fast facts. Dogs, cats, and dung beetles. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter Seven. Scary animals. I think Arlo and I can both agree on one thing: animals can be dangerous. Here are some animals that you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley, or any alley. The Cape buffalo, found in Africa, is about six feet tall and can weigh a ton. It will charge toward its prey at thirty-five miles per hour, and will even chase after cars and trucks. So much for that African safari I was going to go on. The puffer fish is a food delicacy in Japan, but you may not want to order one for dinner. If it's not cooked right, the puffer poison will paralyze your diaphragm and stop your breathing. The good news is that if you eat a bad puffer fish and it kills you, somebody else will pick up the check for dinner. Polar bears look cute and cuddly in those TV commercials, right? Well, don't be fooled. They have no natural predators, and they'll eat just about anything or anybody. I bet the only reason why polar bears don't kill many humans is because there aren't a lot of humans wandering around the North Pole. What about Santa and Mrs. Claus? They could get attacked by polar bears. By the way, do you know why bears don't wear shoes? The box jellyfish lives north of Australia, but you won't see it there. It's practically invisible, and it has venom that's so powerful that human victims sometimes go into shock. And drown or die of heart failure before they reach the beach. Box jellyfish kill more people than sharks and crocodiles combined. Remember those adorable lions in The Lion King? Well, in 1898, African lions killed more than a hundred people working on a railroad in Kenya. Horned lizards can shoot a stream of blood out of their eyes to defend themselves. I wish I could do that in case I ever get attacked. According to the Guinness World Records, the Brazilian wandering spider is one of the most venomous spiders in the world. I hope they don't wander out of Brazil. In 1957, some bees escaped from a Brazilian beekeeper who was trying to breed African honeybees with local honeybees. These Africanized honeybees spread through South and Central America, part of Mexico, and into sections of the United States. The killer bees swarm and chase their victims for a quarter mile. Komodo dragons will eat anything, even humans. While they will swallow small prey whole, they stalk larger prey, and then charge forward, rip out its throat, and wait while it bleeds to death. But wait, there's good news too. Komodo dragons only tend to eat large prey once a month. The electric eel can deliver up to six hundred volts of electricity to anything. Or anybody who messes with it, that's enough to knock a full-grown horse off its feet. Don't ever step on a driver ant. If you do, fifty million of its pals could swarm all over you. Great, that's all I need to be attacked by ants. I'd rather be attacked by ants than by a golden poison dart frog. It has enough poison in it to kill ten grown men. In that case, I'm glad I'm not a grown man yet. But I bet a golden poison dart frog wouldn't want to get into a fight with a blue ringed octopus. It's only the size of a golf ball, but it has enough venom to kill twenty-six people. I have good news and bad news, Arlo. 
The bad news is that the movie Jaws was based on a true story about a great white shark that attacked people at the beach. What's the good news? The good news is that sharks really aren't man eaters. Humans are too bony, and after the first bite, a shark will usually leave you alone. Yeah, they leave you alone to die, and that's the good news. By the way, do you know where sharks come from? Saltwater crocodiles, which are found in India, Vietnam, and Australia, eat everything from water buffaloes to sharks. To kill its food, the crocodile flips the animal over and over until it drowns and falls apart. It's called the death roll. I'm not sure I approve of all the violence in this chapter. It may be inappropriate for children. Hey, Andrea, what do you have against violins? Not violins, Arlo. Violence. I'm just yanking Andrea's chain. Actually, the sea sea fly is probably the most dangerous animal. It gives people African sleeping sickness and is responsible for killing a quarter of a million people every year. But do you know what the most dangerous animal in the world is, Arlo? Gym teachers? No, mosquitoes. Over one million people a year die from diseases that mosquito bites cause: malaria, encephalitis, yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile virus, and Zika virus disease. Well, that's depressing. I hope the next chapter won't be such a bummer. Fear of animals. My best friend Emily is afraid of lots of animals. She has what is called zoophobia. A lot of people are afraid of specific animals. People who are afraid of spiders have arachnophobia. People who are afraid of horses have equinophobia. People who are afraid of bulls have turdophobia. Here are some other common animal phobias. Ilorophobia. Fear of cats. Ophidiophobia, fear of snakes. 